Wizards and Warriors is a platformer developed by Rare and it had music by David Wise and it's really good. Again, another game you turn it on and the title screen music is just awesome. And you play as the Knight Kuros and you have to defeat the wizard Malkil by making it to the end of the game. That's Wizards and Warriors. You turn that on, that's, you, you hear? You're like, dude, this game is gonna be badass. You progress through the levels by collecting keys that open light colored doors and earn gems to pay off a knight. I don't know why. Problem is I don't remember it actually playing very well. I remember the sword strike being very yes. short. The this, 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 this sword strike was like, eh. Yeah. And while you can hurt enemies with your sword extended, like air enemies or jumping enemies, the combat just never felt satisfying. No. The game was criticized for having unlimited continues and allowing you to start right where you left off, but it's a hard game, so I think it's kind of necessary. So Wizards and Warriors, there were three released on the NES. Probably best known for the sequel, Iron Sword, having a nice shirtless Fabio on the cover. Mm -hmm.